So I'm curious about the ancient vessel in particular. Maybe we take a look at that. See what we find. And can I summon this guy? And do people freak out when one of these things runs into town? I guess they're not known they're not known for being hostile, so I guess people probably wouldn't care that much. Oops. I pulled right trigger by default. I think that's because that's often the driving button in games. So I thought I'd try it here. Don't mind me, wildlife. Just going on an adventure. Alright. Go for it. Her. We'll be fine. Just very much in danger and stuff. Alright, let's maybe get off this guy. Ooh. Grabbing things. Oh, it's just Ridgewood. He doesn't seem pleased with me. Oh. 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 Good range. Not appreciated, honestly. Taking care of that, though. Okay. Yeah, not a ton of hiding spots around here, are there? So, I just want to figure out what this thing is. Can I climb through here? Really? No? Maybe through here? Really? So they're rather restrictive around here, huh? Surely something around here works as a door, right? Is that a really big thing nearby? There's a boar in there. That's something. I don't really see the re the huge signal right now. I must be closing in on the signal. Let's just loot where we can. I'm just curious about the vessel situation. Also, boar! Herc! There we go. Sorry. Did I- I got a boar bone. That's good. What did I need that for? Uh, one of these things? Was it resources? That's boar skin. I can do... modification satchel bonus. Just require a lot of my metal shards. I thought there was a boar one. Am I crazy? Maybe it was a weapon. Boar bone. Oh yeah, it's my bow. Totally. That's totally worth it. Get more capacity for my arrows. That's good news. Herp. Herp. Hiding here works, right? Surely with all my stealth bonuses in this tall grass, that means I'm A-OK -okay on hiding here. Oopsie, don't attack. Did I just aggro something else instead of the thing right in front of me? Was it not work anymore? Slow. Ah! So much for slow and sneaky. Well, that took care of itself. Alright, I'm a failure at the sneakitude. Why is my... Why is it pointing over there? I didn't put it over there. I don't think I did. I'm looking for this vessel. Is that where I started here? I think that is. So I made a mistake by deviating it all. So it's below me, right? I wonder if there's like an entrance down here in the sewery looking area? Possibly. Looks like a lot of- looks like not at all. So then maybe I should be on the lookout for like basement access. 
I kind of just went in a circle around this place, but that was on the outside. Oh, not what I was going for. There we go. There's a few new things. Okay, let's check the inside of this building over here. Maybe I, maybe I can go downstairs inside it. Or there'll be a hole. Or there will be absolutely nothing. Huzzah. Not seeing much. How about you? No grand revelations for me? I'm standing like directly on top of it, right? Right... Here. Huh. Okay, I'm not getting a lot to work with then. I don't see like a manhole. Or any kind of hole, really. Yeah, getting basically nothing to work with here. Okay, that's fine. Let's look for the last known location of the dead then. Or missing, I mean. Should be where I'm going right now. Yep, Sona's last known location. Straight across through here. Okay, that's worrying. Look how big that thing is. This must be coming from Tonic's head. I need to find a way to climb it. There's some Shadow of the Colossus stuff going on right there. I need to climb it. That seems rather risky. Oh! I leveled up because reasons. Just because I found it, I guess? I've got one point to spend, which doesn't amount to much. What's over here? Is that nearby? Oh, it's a campfire. Cool. It's best to save before I attack something like that anyway. Damn, that's it. That's real big. It looks like that observatory up there or whatever, that tall building's probably where the last known location of the girl we're looking for. Also might be a good opportunity to jump on top of that tall neck. Maybe it goes near the tower, and I can jump from there. This place is kind of devoid of foes for the moment. What's that? Trap? Harry May. It's a data point. Oh yeah, it's a whole tablet thing. The Harry May program attracting young people back to New Zealand, Auckland, January 1st, 2062. Annalise, Cam Annalise Cameron was barely three years old when her family fled the 2036 submergence. Now she's come back. We joke it's not New Zealand anymore, it's new, new, New Zealand, but that's just having a laugh. For the first time in my life, I feel like I'm home. Cameron is one of the approximately 17,000 young Kiwi transplants participating in the New Zealand government's Here Am I program. Like, almost like Here Am I. <laughs> Which offers tax incentive to displaced New Zealanders for returning home. The program is the brainchild of the, P of the Prime Minister Tama Gatai, or Geta who is widely credited with facilitating the revitalization of Auckland and Christchurch throughout risky post Citerum river disaster investment in the nanotech construction industry. It's time to let the world know we're still here, said, said Gata of the program. Our nation is strong. Not even the die-off could bring us down. We've rebuilt, and our doors are open. I'm just, I'm just assuming that the N is silent in that name. For the sake of my own sanity, perhaps. Alright, we'll see what we can find. Search Brave Trails for Dreamwell, okay. Oh, right, the, the Dreamwell, you're right, yeah. That's for helping with the 
the drugging. Let's see what I can do with this tower first. Can I climb? Okay. Our protagonist is not one for climbing on small ledges. In the forms of uh, windows, at least. She treats that as an impossibility. I will loot the crap out of your remains, thank you. I'll take free metal shards. No complaints here. So is it in the water tower? Ah, uh, seems like it's behind it, actually. Good. I can use this. Kiln root. I'll grab what I can. Shock wax. It's pretty much the usual. Can I climb this thing, I wonder? Scan doesn't necessarily pick anything up. Damn, that thing's big. It seems to walk around that tower-looking thing over there a lot, so maybe that's my way in. The side's less than promising right now. I don't see much by the way of a ladder or platform system around here. Cool environment, by the way. This must be the rise Sona's runner told me about. <laughs> I need to find a way up. It's important. The war chief stopped here. So where did she go next? I guess we'll have to track her to find out. Oh, look at that. A bow? That old bow has seen a lot of action. Arrow shards. Dressings for wounds. They must have taken a moment to rest. Yep, all the relatively nondescript signs of a camp. Couldn't have been easy going on after the ambush. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. No one would have left it willingly. Soon has taken losses. So we need to figure out where she's ended up now. A recent kill. Freshly skinned. Sona and her braves can't be far. So they're either hiding right now or they had to flee this camp because they have... They have food here and they have a weapon here and it's all just abandoned. So where'd they end up? The thing is just constantly thundering in the background. A perpetual reminder. Now I really want to go deal with that thing at some point. Oh, this... The track somehow goes down there, which is weird. Can I do this climbing? Oh, she auto, she auto paths across it, okay. Let's stay crouched for my own security, hopefully. Machine sight discovered. Oh, those guys, the pillow backs. It's a cool name. For a fire machine. Yeah, she actually kind of automatically does any of the graceful things if you point her the right way. Huh? Oh, I was really worried for a second there. That's not the best sign. Oh, that's just the blood tracks. Oh! She, she feels like she stops moving for a moment there each time, which makes me terrified she's just gonna give up and not grab anything. I like that bird shit has just become the standard way of denoting that you can uh, grab onto something. Thanks, Tomb Raider. A dead sawtooth. Maybe Sona took it out. She could be close. The dead sawtooth. Where is it? Where? Is it? This game kind of does that thing where, it, like, the character self narrates but doesn't point the camera at it, or do and it doesn't wait for you to discover it. So it just leads to moments of like your character noticing something. There it is. And I'm like, I don't know what you lit. I'm not sure what you noticed.
You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? <sighs> you have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. Well then, we're gonna make a mess. The killers are just across this ridge, digging the cursed earth. Wait, where's the rest of your crew? They all just disappeared. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupter demons. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. A bold claim. I wonder if you'll live up to it. She's suspicious. I don't know if she... I can't tell if she even knows who I am, though. Does she know I'm an outcast? Or was an outcast? Or that I was at the Proving, or that I'm now a Seeker? Sorry, minor distraction. Ooh, Foxbone, I need that for one of my upgrades, too. Got it. Hours ago, I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us, but we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. What, what am I going to accomplish by making an approach? Put down some trip wires or something? Just feels like attacking from a range would be, uh... Helpful. Alright, kill the cultists and the corrupted machines. And they are everywhere. Oh, they're mostly just the, uh, little guys, though. Okay. So what if I jump in? Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble immediately, aren't I? Full plan. Hey there. There. Everyone make noise. Have fun. <laughs> Unless no one's noticing me yet. And he's down. Ow. Some pain was be is being had. Oh, here comes the attack. I can use these against them if they approach. In the meantime, I'll just grab what I can, I guess. You will perish. You will perish. I, it is known. I mean, I gotta take out that guy. Don't let up. Dealt with. Ow. There we go. Hopefully I don't go mixing people up. There we go. That was a machine kill. There we go. More good progress being made, I think. 
Anyone else attacking me right now, or can I loot for a bit? Ooh, there's a chance. There we go. There's some high value human kills. If I get out of line of sight, will they go around the corner here? Yeah, they will. Ah, oh, I missed my chance a little bit there. There you go, you're in trouble now. Who's left? Got him. Let's just grab what I can. Oh, we finished him. Alright. What kind of loot sources can I find around here? There's one. Oh, watch your heart. That's lucky. Oh, that's a hunter. Stuck behind a hole. I mean, behind a crate. That more or less worked out. Wasn't really sure what to make of the whole try to make an approach part, but I definitely figured out what to do when the fight was happening. There's probably some really cool advantage you could do if you're real careful and clever and see the perfect spot or something. Maybe they wanted me to lure them all to me one by one and slaughter them by spamming that one, uh, this. I can't? Oh, weird. You can only do it when there's a target. Maybe they want me to just do the lure thing over and over again. There's more desert glass. That's probably the majority of what I'll find. Hey there. This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the War Party Massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val, what are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother. No. Oh. Spitting the hot fire at each other. What's that? Oh, right, I couldn't take the potion. So where's this track lead? Let's have a look around. Oh, what's that? Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter. Safe from stray sparks and lightning. And I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures. Or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thrawn, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. We can take the whole place out. So they, they make audio recordings, actively. It's interesting. To, the idea that audio recordings might not all be ancient pieces of information. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the Matriarchs. Beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's Grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. 
Oh, these poor people and their... their utterly crippling, uh, superstitions. We can't possibly walk slightly over there. It's cursed and we will die or something. We will be lost for Mother's Grace or something? There's the tall neck. Let's see. It's way back here, huh? The red... Go to Red Echoes? Wow. We're striking out pretty quickly then. Still only one point. Okay. So that's the main quest up there. Wrench the, Wrench of the Nora, Secret the Gates. Talk to Maria at Mother's Crown. I should check the... Yeah. Let's search the Brave tra Trails for Dream Willow caches to help out with the uh, injured person before I get too far ahead. Oh, it's kind of out of the way, too. Put a waypoint there. And we will travel here. Well, time has passed at this point. We've transitioned fully into daylight as a result of what I've done. Ooh. That'll refuel a bit. And there's animals aplenty around here. Wow, every type of animal, more or less. Is that a raccoon? What is that? It's not a fox, is it? It is a raccoon. You must die for you are different. I haven't been attacking raccoons yet, I don't think. Careful. Well, let's try not to kill ourselves actively. I'm trying to refuel on my consumables if I can. Not quite. You, it's cold. <laughs> New hunting ground. Begin the hunting trials. Well, that's something different. Got one. I'm primarily here for the resources that'll hopefully heal someone, though. Should be a cache of dream out there. We're expecting Dream Willow nearby. Oh, there it is. I understand. But how do you get up there? Do you shoot it down? That is not the answer, as it turns out. Okay. Can I climb a tree? Because I don't think I can. Can I make a climbable rope? Oh. I see. It's like a little micro-platforming puzzle of sorts. Really, I can't get up there? Okay. We'll give it a go. Yep. Ooh, and that nailed it, actually. Okay. Make it across. Well, she has absurd balance. Way to go. No dream willow. Just a few shards. No dream willow. Merely disappointment. Well, there's another one over here. By the previous camp, and I think that's where she was. Okay. Nora Hunting Grounds. Find the Groundskeeper. Wow, there's a lot going on here. So just entering into a hunting area immediately gives you a quest to look for the, uh, the Groundskeeper and probably do a hunting challenge, I would assume. Here we are, number two. A zipline? Does the zipline lead to it or away from it? Oh, this seems like... this seems promising. There we go. Oh yeah, zipline is actually going down this way. Got a jump for it. There we go. Might be a cache of dream willow along Ooh the trail. Less of a lucky landing than I expected. Strange. Looks like someone swapped all the dream willow in these caches for shards. Did they think they were paying for it that way? There's no dream willow in these caches. Feel want to know. Like an apology or something when they're paying for them? It's noble enough, I suppose, to leave payment for what you take, but if there's no... If there's no opiates lying around, then uh, this guy is not going to have a good time. And their honorable decisions are not going to... Uh, not going to fix that. 
Oh. That seemed like it hurt. Just recklessly sprinting across the countryside. I'm just ruining this poor girl's legs. <laughs> back with bad news. You're back. I've already been to those stashes. All I found was a few shards. That's strange. Who would have taken the dream, Willow? It's possible that Jun has gathered more. You could ask him, if you're willing to make the journey. You say someone named Jun might have some dream, Willow? Yes. He may be a recluse, but he helps the tribe by picking herbs and brewing medicines. The problem is that he lives west of Mother's Crown. And the machines in that region are... troublesome. What sort of machines? Scrappers. And sawtooths. It's quite dangerous. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. That does seem... Alright, so... An... Oh, crap, almost walked off a ledge. Alright, another task for the tree, then. It's for the tree. For, for the list, at least. We have like a branching series of crazy objectives everywhere. Oh, June's actually pretty close by. Yeah, that's actually less of a less of a trek than I was expecting.